I shouldn't have been calling that lady stupid. She may be ignorant. But anyway, my apologies, lady, whoever you are, for calling you stupid. But you need to think about what you said, how you said it. Anyway. I'm sorry. Yeah, I seen a comment. I don't know, yesterday or there before or something. It's somebody that has something against scrappers. They they don't they're really derogatory about scrappers and and it was a she. Said there ought to be a law against it. And said maybe when all the scrap runs out that we would just go away. Well, this idiot, this woman, <laughs> I started to call her an idiot. Well, she is an idiot. Scrap ain't gonna go away. And I wish I knew how to address to this lady that, but I don't. I mean, as long as this lady and other people like her and other people like us, as long as we can buy stuff, consume it, wear it out, and throw it away, there's gonna be scrap. What a dumb statement that was, the scrap will go away. Scrap ain't going nowhere. The, only, the scrap, yeah, the scrap is going somewhere. It's going back to the scrapyard and be recycled by by dirty old people like me and my other friends that uh, scrap. So she needs to get that out of her dumb head. You know, I like people, but I swear I can't stand dummies like that. I mean, that's so stupid. Like, you buy a car, it's going to wind up as scrap. You buy a brand new one, it's going to be scrap one day. And it's just like this dang radio here that somebody bought. And I just plugged it up to see if it's working and it ain't working. Some kid got this for Christmas or something. And it's fixing to be scrap. It's going to go to scrap. Because I checked it, it don't work. If it had worked, I would have set it up here in my little shed and played it all the time because I like listening to the radio. But it's always going to be scrap. These little microwave ovens, these uh, old computers, all this stuff. I mean, gosh, I hope you're working, lady. I mean, you need to wise up. You need to think about what you're saying. That was the stupidest thing. And I wish that I, it was a comment she made on somebody's channel. She's one of them haters. But she sure enough made that statement, and it sure enough was stupid. I can't, you know, there's a difference between ignorance and stupid. Ignorance means uh, I'm an, I'm like a, like Bill in a space shuttle. I'm I'm ignorant. That's ignorance. But there's a difference between ignorance and stupid. And what that lady said 
is stupid. I can't stand stupid. I'm dumb, I, you know, stupid, stupid. Boy, I wish I could get hold of her, you know, and tell her something. I didn't even look to see if anybody responded to her reply or her comment or not. But anyway, I'm dedicating this video of me scrapping this video to that stupid lady. And I hope she's watching. Stupid. You can see that. Anyway, first thing, ma'am, to that stupid lady is the cord. Put it down there, and I'm not so sure I'm going to scrap that cord because that's a good power cord. And they have a lot of things come in without the cord that takes that plug, so I might just keep that as a tester. Now, I'm going to this antenna, scrap my lady, my stupid lady. Tricky. Uh. One of them tricky when I ain't took one of these apart in a while. No screw, and uh, there's a screw in that. Oh, this is a tricky little sucker. Shit. That thing should come apart. I don't see no more screws. See, no more screws. Well, I know one method that works. Slam it 
to the concrete floor method. Why is that holding on right there? I got screw out. Okay. Let's see. There. That. You know one thing about these older electronics, they have more wires. And the transformer, see that transformer right there? Uh, they are generally bigger. There's a transformer. Put that down there. This part here is pretty much trash, but if you want to microscope it further down, you can get them metal springs, which I might do. But for right now, I lose more stuff right in front of my face than anywhere. Matter of fact, when I can't find something, I try to look in front of my face. Because most of the time it's going to be there. There's a little wire. Some more wire. Oh! Cutting some more wire. There's a CD player part. And, see, there's a lot of goodies in this thing, to tell you the truth. older stuff, scrapping this older stuff because it generally has more, has more goodies on it. There's a nice green board with chips on it. And I am told that this stuff has value. I have got to find somebody about the boards, but because I am saving the boards and I'm gonna try not to mess with them too much unless there's some real big goodies on it. Now More wires. Now this thing has two motors in it. All right, let me do this. Uh. 
I keep thinking about that stupid lady. I try not to be derogatory towards somebody. But when I run across somebody making a stupid ass statement like that, scrap is going to run out. What in the world? Alright, there's nothing in there that's all plastic. But, getting quite a few screws out of this. Now, there's the laser part that reads the CDs. There's some metal there. There's two motors there. I'll have to lay this aside because um, I need my little bitty mini screwdriver stuff to get these motors off. But there's two motors in there. And they ain't worth much. I think going right now is about 30 to 40 cents a pound for motors. I'll lay that aside for right now. Because I need a magnet. Where's me a magnet? Where's me a magnet? If I didn't need a magnet, they'd be laying all over the place. Ah, let's lay it aside. Now, this thing, we're into the guts of this thing now. Um, and as you can see, there's quite a bit more stuff. There's two, two speakers in there. There's another motor in there. Um, what the same hell did I do with my coffee? I hope I ain't spilt my coffee. Y'all gone? Cause I done, what'd I do with my dang coffee? Where's my coffee? Oh, son of a bitch. Did I spill it? Yep, son of a gun. Well, I gotta shut this down and go get me another cup of coffee. I Go make me another cup of coffee. See that beautiful stuff? Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to set it way over here where I don't knock it over. And of course, when I went inside, I had to run and check my emails and stuff. And there's one guy that commented on uh Something. I don't have many people, when I ask a question about something, I don't get hardly anybody ever that says what, what, uh, hardly ever gives me an answer, or even says anything about it, and this guy did, and right off the top of my head, I can't remember his, his, uh, can't remember his name, but that black stuff that goes around the cones of that copper is heavy. I don't have a piece of it handy right now, but he left a comment and he answered the question. It's called ferrite. I think it was spelled F-E-R-R-I-T-E. And so now I know what the name of it is, but I'm hoping he emails me back. I want to, of course, I sent him a thing back asking, is it a metal? Um, but I'll tell you what, since you answered that question and told me, if you'll, um, if you use SD cards for your cameras or anything like that for the memory, uh, I'll send you a couple of them SD cards, but you have to go on my, uh, my, uh, 
email with your mailing information and your name and mailing information and I'll send you two of them um, uh, gosh I wish I could remember your name but if you uh, but go ahead and answer me back if we will tonight on um, the comment I sent about is it metal but yeah, I I like people talking to me back and forth on them comments. Uh, like I said, I don't get many that do. All right, let me.